Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to Sneak Peek Peek for our newest pattern. It is the game on one shoulder top and it's our latest obsession. It is so fun and it's so easy to wear. Um, we know you're going to love it. So the reason I created it is I love that whole, you know, asymmetrical, off the shoulder kind of look. But I struggle with having to hitch um, the completely off the shoulder tops off all the time all the time and I also struggle with the tops that have one sleeve here and no sleeve here I love them but my brain doesn't find it logical it struggles with it <laughs> I think my brain has a, a life of its own anyway so I designed this one now you don't have to pull it into place it will you pop it on and it sits into place just like a normal top. You don't really have to worry about this falling down. It just sits there shaped to your body. Um, if your fabric is a little bit lighter, you might want to bring this in a little bit, but most of the time you won't actually need to. So let me tell you a little bit about this top. There are three different shapes you can make. You can make the semi-fitted one like this one. You can make a flared one and you can make a banded one. You can put the open shoulder on whichever side you like. Now, one of the things that the girls found was the side they carry their handbag is their most comfortable shoulder to have out. There's long sleeve, cuff sleeve, three quarter sleeve, half sleeve and short sleeve. Um, so you've got all those ones to choose from and it can be made in so many different sorts of fabric. This is a really light viscose um, we've used sweater knits, we've used polys, we've used prints, we've used planes, we've used a little bit of glitter. It really just depends on the sort of top that you want to create. Now, wearing a bra. Whether you wear a bra or not underneath your top and what sort of bra you wear is totally up to you. If you have a bra that has either a black or a coloured or a patterned strap like this one, um, looks awesome underneath. If you wanted to wear a strapless bra, that is great too. And then you have all this nice and clean. Um, but it also looks fantastic over a tank top. So if you have, say, a bra strap that is a little bit more chunky, pop a tank top on over the top or a camisole or anything. And it really does look just as fantastic. I will show you a few different ways to style each different top. Um, whether you want a casual look, a dressed up look, whether you want this open or whether you want it covered um, with a tank, so layered, um, we will have something that you can connect and relate to. And this is um, the long sleeve and as I said before, in the semi-fitted shape. It's the same shape, um, the body shape, as you have for your favourites, the Endless Summer Tee, uh, the Keep It Simple Tee, that same sort of easy but slim fitting shape. Um, and then we have long sleeve and as I said there are multiple lengths that you can add um, this is a viscose jersey it's kind of like a really thick stocking so it's really light and comfy to wear and here in my bare feet <laughs> I teamed it back with um, the last pattern that we did which was the wrap skirt now if you wanted to get um, a little bit more dressed up for work or for going out but you wanted to stick to the basic black um, but you did want to have this shoulder um, or your bra strap covered a little bit. I've just popped, this is the going places uh, dress that I had made cut into a top. I've teamed it back, match back with my boots. Easy, chic and fun. And both, this is the, um, the wide leg pants, the urban wide leg pants. Both are really, really fast to sew. You could even make them out of the same fabrics. And then for weekend, just easy casual, um, I popped on a strapless bra, so nice and free, pair of jeans, my favourite boots, super, super easy. It also looks fantastic with the In My Stride skirt. So whether you want it for play or for work or for day, team it back with one of our skirts, um, even with the Symphony, which I'll show you um, soon, looks fantastic. Now my preferred shoulder to wear out and wear my handbag is my right shoulder. So the rest of the tops you will see with this shoulder out. Um, here I've made it in a spandex. It's just a swimwear fabric. It's soft, it's comfortable, 
really, really super easy to sew. Um, teamed it with the In My Stride skirt um, and a strapless bra. And as you can see, it looks just as fantastic in denim layered over a tank. See? Nice and casual. And exactly the same pieces, just teamed back with the Simply skirt. This is the second top that I made and it is my absolute favourite. As soon as I made this one, I just knew that this was going to be a winner. Um, it's the most gorgeous soft sweater knit that I got from Wattle Hill. Um, it's gorgeous, it's great for that in-between weather if you want to team it back with shorts or over jeans if it's a little bit cooler. Really sweet and I've just got a coloured bra underneath. Um, again, you can layer it over a tack, I'll show you. There you go, I am totally winter ready. Lay it over another tank um, and then with a pair of cargoes. I am so warm and comfortable and I look unique and chic. Absolutely love it. Um, and again with the long sleeves. Let's take a look at the flared version. Now in the flared version there are two lengths. There's a top and there's a long top. But you can really choose any length that you want. Um, if you have a look in, in the tutorial, um, you will see finished lengths and just choose the one that suits you. And it is so easy to just add along the bottom if you want a little bit more length. Now this is a little, this is the tall top. So it's a little bit longer than um, the long top for us shorties. Um, I've added the cuff. Again, it's the sweater knit. And you can see how easily it just drops on easy over a tank. Now this is a really loose sweater knit so I would recommend making this band a little bit tighter. So take off about two centimetres, maybe an inch um, and then if you wanted to do a bit of a French tuck, really easy, comfortable, just relaxed but you still really really good. Denim goes with everything so pair of sneakers, pair of boots, whatever look you want. Nice, easy throw on sweater. Um, I've just popped mine over a coloured bra. Do the tuck or wear it out. Easy and relaxed. <laughs> Being a born and bred Melbourne girl, layering is in my jeans. This top is such a great layering top. Now, Unbelievably, I've used scuba here, and we all know scuba doesn't have a huge amount of drape, so it can tend to make you look a little bit bulky. So my recommendation is treat it like a windsheeter. Um, for those overseas, I think you'd say a sweater um, or a sweat. So like that outer layer um, that's a little bit thicker, and then layer it, keep it short, keep it at the top length um, for the flared, and keep it short and then layer underneath just things that will complement it. Um, sneakers, denim shorts, denim skirt, and you get a really, really cute look. Um, don't be afraid of, of showing off a really funky little top underneath um, in a singlet type version. This is um, the Endless Summer Tea in the sleeveless. So this is my favorite, <laughs> second favorite. <laughs> And if you've got a fitted silhouette on the bottom, a shorter, looser top is always gonna complement that really well. So whether you wanna do the tuck and just leave it out at the back or out, just have fun. And as I said, this is a scuba knit in the flared, in the top length with a long sleeve. How cute is the short sleeve? Isn't that adorable? Um, now this is the flared length. This is actually um, the tall long top. So I'm um, on the shorter side, I'm five foot four. Um, so this kind of fits as a tunic on me, but if you were tall and wanted to make a tunic too, just add straight evenly along the bottom of the back and front. Really, really simple to do. It's not a massive effort to mix it or mix it and mash around a little bit. So this is short sleeve. This is the really, it's really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Um, a poly rib, easy, 
and goes back with a whole lot of different looks. Um, and as I said before, having a, a looser top over a slim bottom gives that really nice balance. And again, over denim and lay it over a tank, just casuals the whole look up a little bit so that you can wear just one top in a variety of ways. Who doesn't love a little bit of glitter sometimes? Um, this is a really casual, dressed up, kind of flashy look, I guess. Um, I've teamed it back with um, some harem pants. It's just in a really light satin, like really, really lightweight. Um, the flared look. Now my favorite way to actually wear glitter is with denim. See, easy, fun, with a pair of jeans, pair of sh shorts, denim skirt. Just kind of dresses that in your face glitter um, down a little bit. Uh, layer it over another top, um, a glitter bra strap, another shiny top underneath, um, and you kind of have that really cool dressed up casual. And you can never go wrong with a pair of wide leg pants. Um, these are the Urbans again. Whether you want to wear it out or do a little tuck, it's totally up to you. And last but not least is the banded version. Now, for those of you that love the True Romance top, you will love this. It's got, um, you can either do it on the hip or the band on the waist. Now, if your, um, your garment underneath, your pants or your skirt is a lower waisted or a hip kind of style, I would wear, um, I would cut the hip one because it's gonna keep you covered. Um, looks really, really cute with the urban wide leg pants. Um, it has that gorgeous blousiness. And then I've done it here with the long sleeves. The hipster length is also a fabulous length to wear with jeans. And this top, uh, the banded version, has a really lovely casualness about it. Um, this is just a polyester. Uh, again, long sleeves. Just lovely, easy, comfortable. Um, but means that you're a little bit more dressed up than jeans and a t-shirt. And of course, it looks fantastic with the symphony skirt. So smooth, flared, smooth, blousy, really nice combination together. Then this cute little number is the waisted version of the banded top. I've cut um, the half sleeve and I've put the cuff from the long sleeve on the half sleeve, I just added like two or three centimeters to make it a little, a little bit bigger. Looks really, really cute. Now the beauty of the banded version, if you've got high-waisted pants, high-waisted skirt, high-waisted jeans, anything, the banded version that sits at the waist is gonna give you such a fantastic balance. So you get um, a short amount here and it's gonna elongate your legs and really show off that waistline because it just sits so smoothly around um, what you've got underneath. Now, ideally, you want a nice smooth waistband underneath. So think heart light skirt, worn up at the waist. Um, symphony skirt, um, the urban wide leg pants, as long as you're wearing them up high, um, you might need to add a little bit to the top of the waist. Um, and then add the waistband. Um, so just think anything wasted that you wear on your actual waist, not on your low waist, but on your actual waist, make this top, you'll be surprised. I made this one out of scraps. Um, this is a viscose um, jersey from uh, Wattle Hill. Um, and I just had scraps left. And I thought I'll just whip this up and I absolutely love it. I love when we can surprise ourselves like that. So let me show you this one with a few more bottoms and you can, you can kind of see how it works. The Free Spirit skirt, um, a woven pattern, great option. Sits right at the waist, so you get that gorgeous elongated look. The Symphony skirt, um, a really thick uh, fabric like Liverpool or Scuba. Um, it gives it that nice structure, worn right up at the waist, looks fantastic with the wasted version. Again, it gives you that lovely in and out with a wide leg pant. Um, just remember that you want the waistband to be up right up underneath. See how this one here, you can see this is a little bit low. 
you want it right up at your waist so that both of them overlap. Unless you're like 10 years younger than me and by all means show you midriff. <laughs> the last one I have to show you is a pattern hack. This is the Going Places dress with the strap. Now sometimes I'll wear this and I'll either be a little bit cool or um, it's a little bit dressed up. I might have gone from one thing to another thing. I just want to get a coffee. So I thought, how about I make this really casual, grungy looking jumper, sweater if you're overseas, to go over the top. And it looks fantastic. So this is combined with the exhale top. So um, you'll see that the armhole and the shoulder is the same. And you just go along the side seams and the hem of the exhale, whether you want it um, straight or you want the dramatic high-low. I've done the dramatic high-low. And it's so cute. There we go. Really, really cute high-low. Um, totally see-through. Can you see that? But it just makes a really good throw over the top, something fun, something a little bit different. And you can still see my dress and the fantastic fabric underneath. So yeah, really, really easy mash that um, anyone can do. It's really, really simple. Just combine the two, the flared and the exhale, and off you go. And this is a long sleeve. It's just a, the fabric actually isn't great. It's just, it's an, like an acrylic. It's kind of got this ribbon effect, but it created the look that I wanted. So that is it. What did you think? I would love to hear which is your favourite. So write down below um, which one was your favourite, whether it was a favourite fabric or um, one of the styles might have been your favourites or a particular outfit was your favourite. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the group. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Press the red button.